large unboxing from GBFKE. Now, um, I am going to do all five of these today. Uh, as you see, many of them are smaller ones, and then I've got one that's a 40 by 50. So this uh, is 482, 483, 484, 485, and 486. And we're going to get into them right now. But before we start, I would like to thank Ali, also known as Lee, from GBFKE for sending me these fantastic diamond paintings. I am so excited to get into them and show you because they do have such a beautiful stock of diamond paintings on the GBFKE website. And I just, I love being able to share them with you. Now, since I recorded this video, I got an email from Ali and he is offering my viewers a new Christmas bonus. And so for that, he's given me two discount codes to share with you. The first one applies to all products on the GBFKE website, and you will enjoy a 5% discount on your total order. You can use this code unlimited times and it's an unlimited amount. So there's no minimum or maximum value. And the discount code, which is up on your screen, of course, is all hyphen 5%. So there it is on your screen. Now the second discount offer that he's making for my viewers is for cross stitch products. Now I know a lot of you are interested in cross stitch or maybe you know somebody who is. And so for cross stitch related items, he's giving you an offer of a 25% discount. And there are three categories of products which are on your screen right now and they will all be eligible for the 25% discount. Again, you can use this code unlimited times and it, there's no minimum or maximum, so it's an unlimited amount. And the discount code, which is also up on your screen, is cross-25%. And just for those of you who are not looking at your screen, the three product categories that the 25% discount applies to are any products that are cross stitch, any products that are embroidery, or any products that are cross stitch accessories. So those are um, categories that you can do a drop down from on the GBFKE website. And anything that comes up under those three categories are is eligible for a 25% discount. So between the 5% for everything in the store and the 25% for cross stitch, I think Ali is, and GBFKE are giving us all a really wonderful Christmas bonus. Okay, so number 482 is a very, oh, this is nice. Oh, okay. Um, first, let's take a look at a kit. It's a, it's a standard kit. There's nothing exceptional about it. Um, and then we have round drills. And I'm just going to flatten this out a little bit before I show it to you because it really looks, it looks better than I thought it would. I knew I would love it, but my first impression of it was like, oh, wow, that's really, really nice. So I'm pretty excited to show you this. So this is what I call stained glass bird and flowers. And isn't this just beautiful? Even though it's a smallish size, let's measure it. Um, yeah, I wasn't 100% sure how this would turn out, but it looks fantastic. Um, 
this is just over 24 and a half, so we'll call it 25 by 34, just over 34, so we'll call it 25 by 34. Okay, let me just label it here, and then I'm going to pull back the plastic and um, just make sure the plastic is lying perfectly flat on there to help it flatten out, but look how well it flattened out from travel already, so this is good. Oh my goodness. All right, I, I fell in love with this image and I wanted it and I wanted it and I wanted it and I didn't order it for weeks because I thought, oh, it's not gonna look good in that size. But I haven't even looked at it through the camera yet. But just looking at it with my eyes, I am loving it. It looks absolutely terrific. Absolutely terrific. Wow. And now I'm just like, I'm sitting up straight and looking at it. So my eyes are, I don't know, maybe three and a half feet away from it. And it's beautiful. Like, wow. Let me look at it through the camera now. Oh, I can blow it up a little bit. I, uh, I'm never sure. How much to blow things up before I start filming. Okay, uh, look at that. Oh yeah, it looks nice through the camera, but it, it looks absolutely gorgeous with my eyes. It actually, this is one which it shocks me, but it looks better with my eyes than through the camera. How can that be? I don't think I've ever said that before. Um, I, I don't know why that is. Now, I don't know why that is. I'm super excited about this. Okay, it has 22 colors. And the DMC numbers are listed on the canvas. So we're going to take a look at the legend, which is printed on both corners of the diamond painting. And... It's a very, very easy to read legend. Yep. And then look at this canvas. Look how beautiful it is. Now you're at 0.9x. Uh, and look how beautiful the printing on the cam on the canvas is. Oh my god. You have no idea how happy I am right now. I was hoping that I would like this. I was really hoping I would like it. And I was so afraid that I wouldn't. But look at it. Now, my only concern is that some of these lines that we see going through here will be covered up by drills. And so that might uh, like some of that definition will be lost, but the way the coloring works on this, I think it's going to be great. I really hope that this one comes up in a penny pick soon because I want to do this one. I want to do it so badly. Holy jeez. Yeah, look at the bird. It's just, it's so delicate and beautiful. Oh yeah, you guys. That's nice. See now, I'm holding the camera. I'm gonna put it at 1x now. Um, I'm holding the camera as far back as I am. Look at that. It's just beautiful. Okay, um, I am very pleasantly surprised with this. So I'm going to bring the camera way down and we're going to look at the drills now. Now the drills do not have DMC numbers on it, but that doesn't matter because it's on the canvas, so that's all good. All right, and 22 colors and here we have number 21 and 22. Oh, let me blow way up for this. 
and we'll just go fairly quickly through the drills. I have never seen a problem with any of the drills that I've gotten from GBFKE. So whoever they're, oh, this is interesting. They sent me, um, can't read that. <laughs> I can't read that simple. Uh, well, let's see what's missing. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, this looks like it might be more 11. Oh, it, it is 11. Okay, so 11 is empty. <laughs> so this is 11. Okay, so that's fine. That's fine. I'm just going to tape it onto here so that, um, you know, when I find, when I pull this out, I'm not going to be confused. Okay, so let's get back to our drill review. So this is, uh, we're starting at number one here. So uh, I'm only going to stop if I see something that makes me concerned, but... Uh, I don't think I will. These are really pretty. They're sparkly. They have beautiful flat bottoms. And I'm sure there's going to be more than enough. I haven't run out of drills for diamond painting for a very long time. And I've uh, never run out of drills for a GBFKE diamond painting. I think I've done two of them now. So, yeah, and there's the 11. Yeah, no, these are really good drills. Holy jeez, some of the, the bottoms on these are so crazy flat. That's so perfect. Yeah, I'm very, very happy with the quality of these drills. Oh, I'm so excited about this one. You know, well, this is what the whole Rose Tries program is about. You, you know, sometimes we order things and sometimes, like today with this, you're so pleasantly surprised at what you get. Uh, because, you know, you weren't sure and you thought, eh, it might not turn out very well, but you hope. You know, we always hope that we're going to get a diamond painting that looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, even though we have our fears. Well, that's what the Rose Tries program is about. That's where I try something before you buy it. And um, I'll tell you, um, I'll just run through the program again for any of my new subscribers um, when or my new viewers when I'm doing the next um, drill review. Uh, so let me just put this one away and we will move on. Okay. Yeah, this this is a definite huge success here. This is so beautiful. I'm so happy with this. Oh my goodness. So there we go. 482 stained glass bird and flowers. So the next diamond painting is number 483. And I call this one beauty number two because um most women like pic uh, pictures of women on uh the various diamond painting sites are often just called beauty and so i used to try and give them all different names but now i'm just i'm running out of names people so i'm just going with beauty number one number two number three so this is my second diamond painting that I have bought that was simply called Beauty. So this is Beauty number two. Let's take a look at the kit. Nice, simple kit that's got everything. And look at these colors. I'm very excited about the colors of this diamond painting. And I just want to flatten this out a little bit. It came through shipping very, very well. So it's just a case of flattening out some of these curls here there we go and when I pull the plastic back that'll help to flatten it a little bit more and we'll probably just end up with these little creases on the very end all right so there we go this 
is beauty number two. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, I thought this was an absolutely perfect name for this diamond painting because she is gorgeous. I just love this diamond painting. And I knew it would turn out beautiful just because of the way the colors sort of explode out from her head. Um, look at her. Isn't she lovely? I love her expression. Oh, I just love everything about this. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, um, just going to try and flatten this a little bit. Not that it matters. Once it goes into my storage, it's going to flatten it perfectly. So, Oh, so this one has 22 colors as well. And it is also round drills. And it also has the DMC colors on the color list. So uh, let's take a look. I'm blowing you up to 1x here so that we can see this. And again, very, very simple legend. Everything is legible it's there's no confusing symbols on here um and look at again the printing on this canvas it's perfect absolutely perfect there's nothing that's fuzzy or i'm working on a diamond painting right now that i got from peggy by um in like I ordered it in January of 2019 and it finally came up in a petty pick and the like it's the drills are generally okay and everything's generally okay about it but the printing is muddy and so like I'm having I'm having to use a light pad for this I will not use like I will not need to use a light pad because the printing is so clear um, and so when like it's really important to know that your diamond painting is going to come in with crystal clear printing on it because it will make the drilling experience so much better if you don't have to squint to figure out if something is a B or an E or something like that. And on this canvas, you absolutely will not have to because they did a beautiful job of charting it. Look at her eyes. Oh, so gorgeous. So gorgeous. Yeah, look at that face. I just love it. Okay, so... Oh, look at her. And I, I didn't notice before, but her hand is in the picture. And you can you can distinguish the fingers really well. Hands are really important. If, if, if a diamond painting gets hands wrong, it just kind of makes the whole diamond painting look off. So I'm pleased to see that even though I hadn't noticed that there were hands on this before, um, the hand looks good. Okay, so let's get into the drills. And... Um, Rather than talking, oh, and look at this. It has the DMC numbers. Oh, let me get that in focus. It does have the DMC numbers on the bags. And this is the blue stripe uh, bags, which are pretty much guaranteed to get good drills when you get the blue stripe bags. So, I'll... Um, Put up on the screen in a, in a few seconds uh, all the information for the Rose Tries program. And uh, I'll, just sort of, I'll just explain what it is and give you instructions on how to go through it. And there we go. We go right up to number 22 there. So, um, so as I was saying before, something that no diamond painter likes is to order a canvas, and then you're on tenter hooks while you're waiting for it to see whether it's going to be too pixelated. And, I mean, what I used to do in the past was I just, if I had any doubt about whether a diamond painting was going to be too pixelated, I simply wouldn't order it. And then I realized 
but that means I'm cutting myself off from a whole bunch of really beautiful images that might work out well, you know, in whatever size the store offers them in. And so I started experimenting and just saying, what the hell, I'll order uh, diamond paintings that I really, really like. And if they are not great uh, in, the, in the size that they're offered in, well, at least I'll be able to tell my viewers and my viewers will know, um, you know, to be mindful <laughs> of that fact if they were thinking of ordering them. And then I thought, wait a minute, like once I, you know, started working with these excellent companies like GBFKE, um, I realized I have an opportunity now to try out viewer suggestions. So I know I'm not the only one who wonders if something's going to look right in a particular size. So, uh, so that's where I started the Rose Tries program. And what that is, is you send an email to me at ramblingrosedp at gmail.com, put Rose Tries in the subject line, and then in the body of the email, you include the link or links to diamond paintings that you really want to buy. Like not just stuff that you want to see how it's going to look. You really love the image. You would love to buy it. But there's something about that diamond painting that you're not sure about. It could be you're not sure if it's going to render well in the size that it's offered in. It could be that the description isn't complete. So it doesn't say whether it's round or square drills or special special, sh ugh, special shapes or a mixed, you know, a mixed bag of round and special or something like that. So and it, sometimes they don't say whether they're full drill or partial drill. So um, for any of those reasons or any other reason, uh, you tell me why you're holding off buying that diamond painting. And I, um, unless, unless I really hate the diamond painting and just like, because there are some diamond paintings that it's like, no, I, as much as I love my viewers, I don't love them enough to, you know, do an unboxing of a particular kind of image. There are some images I just don't cover on my channel. Um, and that's fine. There are other channels that cover them. Um, so in most cases, I say yes. There are very, very few cases where I've said, no, I can't do that one. And, you know, it's usually because it, it either doesn't mesh with the style of diamond paintings that I open on my channel, or um, sometimes it's because uh, the item is simply outside the budget that I have with um, some of the companies that I have in terms of the orders that I place. So, um, oh, I forgot to put, I forgot to put the info sheet in there, and I forgot to measure this. So, even though I'm sure it's going to be 24 or 25 by 35, or 34, let's see, it is 25 by, sorry, I'll zoom out a little bit. It is 25 by 34, excuse me, 34 and a half, so we'll call it 25 by 35. And it is beauty number two. I got the hiccups now. That's not fun when you're trying to record a video. Sound like a drunken sailor. Okay, um... Okay, so everything about this makes me happy. I love the canvas. I love the way it's printed. I love the legend. I love the colors. I love the drills. This is a great big win. So if you like this image, run out and buy it. Um, because it's gorgeous. Now, of course, the information for all of the diamond paintings that I'm showing you is in the description to this video down below. 
So now I'm just going to move on and we're going to open up number 484. Okay, so number 484 is a Christmas themed diamond painting. I am going to uh, be showing you a whole bunch of Christmas themed uh, items over the next few weeks. Um, it is November 5th as I am recording this. And so I figure right up until the end of November anyway, it's okay to be showing you uh, Christmas themed stuff. And you know, if I get some stuff that's not delivered until December, there's nothing saying you can't order it to be ready for next Christmas. So, um, so we'll see. Uh, it's just, I am trying to focus on, on getting Christmas themed stuff in. Um, oh, there's a little tiny bit of glue on here. It's just some of the, uh, the glue that they used on the front of the diamond painting. Uh, there's just a tiny little bit of it that got onto the back. There's no problem with it and it just comes off. So there we go. All right. So I'll show you the kit. Oh, this one has bags. So it's a standard kit, but it has bags. Yay. I love bags. And now, uh, look at the colors. Aren't those pretty colors? We'll look at those in a minute. The, uh, the plastic just got a little folded back on itself here. Look at this, look at this snowman. Isn't he just cute as anything? I love this diamond painting. When I saw this one, I thought, yeah, I have to get it. Now, uh, it is a little bit more pixelated than I thought it would be. So this is one where, sadly, um, it didn't, turn out quite as delightful as the image that I've got showing on the screen right now. But still, it's super fun and it's going to be fun to do. It's going to be super quick because there is a ton of color blocking on this, which we'll see in just a minute. Um, so in terms of a Christmas project, this is a great Christmas project because it's fast, it's cute, and it's gonna look nice and cheerful and festive. So, okay, so this one, uh, number 484, I call it Snowman number two, because one of the very first diamond paintings that I ever bought, I think it's number two in my inventory, uh, was a, uh, a partial snowman, which I still haven't finished. I actually started working on it this February because I wanted to finish it, and, um, that was one that I started working on at my friend Margaret's house. We were going to start diamond painting together. And guess what happened? COVID happened. And I had left all my uh, stuff there. Like I had, I had like a travel kit and I left it there. So, um, so it's sitting at Margaret's house, but it'll still be around next Christmas. Okay, so this one was 25 by 35. I'll just label the, uh, the drill information. I don't know why I bother labeling this stuff. It doesn't matter. Okay, um, so this one has 20 colors and the printing on the legends is teensy teensy tiny. I actually think that the legend up here is a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna blow that up to full size. Uh, and there we go, look at that. Um, super clear printing on the legend. We have DMC numbers on the legend. Uh, we do not have DMC numbers on the bags. They are the blue stripe bags, so I know the drills are gonna be good. And then look at all the color blocking. This is going to go super, super fast. Uh, I am very proficient with my nine placer. And so this is just going to go super, super fast. Probably about 10 hours to finish this, I would say. 
which seems like a long time, but you know, it's two days of drilling for me. So, oh yeah, I like this. I like this. It would be nice if there was maybe a little bit more confetti. Um, but, you know, looking through the camera at this image, it's gonna look super fun. And I like the fact that it's a snowman at night. That was one of the things that really, really attracted me to this diamond painting. So if you like that, again, I would say buy it before it becomes too late to order it and get it in time for Christmas. Mind you, since it's a, well, it's a Christmas thing uh, because of the Christmas lights, but there's no law that says you can't work on it even after Christmas and enjoy it even after the holidays. So there you go. I, I like this. I just love it. I love the glow of the lights. That is what really, really did it for me. Um, just the way the lights glow. Yeah. And I think that'll work out well because, you know, they do have like a sort of a nimbus of color around each of the lights. So I think it'll turn out okay. All right, uh, and now let's take a look at the drills. If I can figure out how to open this package. <laughs> oh, goodness. There we go. Oh my goodness, these colors. Oh, these colors are so beautiful. I'm really glad I got this. Okay, uh, so 20 colors, they're all in one strip. So let me bring this down a little bit so that I can see what I'm showing you. And let's take a look at them in Zoom. There we go. And they look good. Yeah, these are, these are nice drills. And like 20 colors, even though, as you see, there's so much color blocking, um, but, and there's, as you'll see, there are a lot of colors in this strip that don't have a lot of drills in them. Wow. This, I think it's 550. Uh, number 13 is, uh, is 5. Oh, 820. Okay. 820. Hmm, interesting. Um, you see, there's not a lot of the, like for the rest of the colors in this strip, there's almost there's very, very few drills. But they give you all of those drills because it's going to make all the difference in the world to the way the diamond painting looks. I've had diamond paintings where I get a bag of drills and there's just two drills of that color that are needed in the entire diamond painting. And you know what? those two drills make a difference um, and so it's nice when companies will send you you know just a tiny little bit of the drills that are needed because they add something special to the diamond painting so this is I think this is gonna look really nice it might look better when it's done than it does right now um, that's what I'm hoping anyway so yeah so there we go. Okay, I'm gonna uh, put the drills back in the bags and we're gonna get ready to open number 485, which is the big diamond painting in this group. Okay, so the next diamond painting that I have for you today is one that I call, uh, it's number 485, and it is one that I call Blue Lilies. And it is a square drill. Uh, that's today's only square drill. Uh, and I have been attracted by this one for quite some time. I really, really like this image. There is a lot of blue to it. Oh, 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 okay. So uh, kit, standard with, uh, looks like two bags in it. I'll take two bags, two bags is good. And it's got the purple stripe packaging for the square drills. 
uh, which is good. That tells me that these rolls are going to be quality, but we're going to see that in just a moment. And I see that there are 17 colors. So not a lot of colors, but I'm actually not concerned about that. Uh, and the reason I'm not concerned about that is that the image itself is quite simple. And so I don't think we're going to... And look how nicely it came through shipping. That's going to flatten out perfectly. Uh, it's not going to need any ironing at any point. Look at look how flat it is. That's it. It's perfectly flat. Uh, I will uh, just pull back the plastic to um, get some of the... To make sure that the cover plastic is perfectly flat. There we go. So even though there are a lot of lilies in this bowl, uh, I thought that this would turn out beautifully because uh, with the square drills, of course, you get more pixels or diamonds per square inch than you do with round drills because round drills are bigger than square drills. Um, and I just thought this would be such a pretty pretty canvas and this is the sort of thing that I would be happy to give away as a Christmas gift to somebody because I know very very few people who don't have some blue in their house or who couldn't put some blue in their house and um, or in their apartment or whatever um, and a, you know something like this I think is the sort of thing that you can confidently give to somebody and not worry that it's not going to be to their taste um, so, so this will become a gift for someone when it's done, um, because it looks really nice and I haven't looked at it through the camera yet. Um, it looks really nice. I think it has enough detail. Um, I think it has enough detail. Like I can see in the flowers here that there are, you know, a whole, a bunch of different colors. So I think we're going to get nice uh, shading and gradations of color in there. Um, it's blue, white, gray. Uh, I know that once we open it up, uh, once we open up the colors, we're going to see a richness of colors that this doesn't really tell us about. Um, you can't really tell all of the gorgeous colors that we're going to see from uh, this canvas right now but I can see them in the package of drills and they're gorgeous. Okay, um, so let's first off measure this. It's a 40 by 50 canvas. And so I'm expecting it to be about 35 by 45. Oh, it's 34, 33 and a half. 34 by... 44. It's a little bit uh, a little bit smaller, which means that there's a, a bigger edge on this than for some of the diamond paintings. But that's fine. I don't care. This is still going to look absolutely beautiful. And what is 34 by 45 in inches? Uh, 34 is uh, 13 and a half inches. And 44... is uh, 17 and a half inches. So if you were to get a 14 by 18 frame, I can't remember, I guess they come in 14 by 20 uh, or 16 by 20. So you might need, well, let's see, how big is the actual, um, so it's 15 and three quarters centimeters across. And the reason that I'm measuring the canvas uh, by 20 centimeters high is because I am thinking you could, you know, go to Michael's and get a frame for this uh, 16 by 20 frame. Um, I would get a mat cut for it um, so that you have like a perfect mat for this. Um, but then you would have a beautiful gift to give to somebody, a framed, beautiful diamond painting. And uh, it would be completely up to you whether you put a cover on it or not. Um, I know I did one of my daughter's diamond paintings that I gave her. I did put the plexiglass 
on the front of it because it had popping drills and even though I sealed it I was still nervous about that and then for the second one I did not put the plexiglass on the front and um, and I also did not worry about uh, the drills popping on the second one so uh, I don't expect that there will be any problem with popping drills um, because it's the purple stripe packaging uh, so of course we won't be able to tell until this is done we're not going to be able to tell for sure but I think you could frame this without uh, glass or plexiglass in front of it and it would look lovely and that way you don't get the nasty glare off the diamond painting um, that you would if you had a frame on it uh, that's the one thing we don't like about the one that I gave my daughter that has the plexiglass is that there is there is glare I mean you can buy the uh, anti-glare glass but that, that gets expensive so um okay let's take a look at the legend and the drill area now unfortunately there are no dmc numbers anywhere uh in this kit not on the legend and not on the bags so that is a little bit of a disappointment um, but it's not going to disappoint me so much that i'm not going to do this diamond painting it just means that you know when i'm done i'll be putting the leftover drills aside uh, I'm I'm blowing you up to 2x this time I don't know why just because uh, but look how beautifully clear this is again this is one that I would not need to use a light pad for um, I probably will because it'll be sitting right on top of my light pad but I don't think I would need to use a light pad for this um, and so if that's something that's important to you to know now you know. So I'm not going to show you every square inch of this canvas, but look at how beautifully clear those symbols are. There is quite a lot of color blocking on this, um, but I think that kind of lends itself to the image itself. So look at that. This is so pretty so so pretty i'm really looking forward to doing this and then we got the pestles and the, i think they're called pistol pistols pistols pestle pistols and stamen i don't know i was changing schools when we were doing that part of plant biology in grade four and so i that and something to do with frogs that i didn't learn I came just as they were writing the test and uh, so it was the one and only test I ever failed in school <laughs> it was something about the the biology of a frog in grade four anyway um, and that test was the first day that I started at school it, this is this is really nice I like it I like it a lot really really nice okay um so let's take a look at the drills the sun is starting to shine in my window in such a way that it is blinding me and what that also means is that soon even though it's only like 147 in the afternoon soon the shadows are going to start to get longer and so I need to be finished this before um, the shadows start interfering with uh, the diamond painting video okay uh, so we have 17 colors and 17 colors so we have everything we need and let's take a look now and those drills look absolutely perfect now, uh, okay, so here I, oh, did I see one that has a tab? No, nope, I thought it was a tab, but it was a drill that was behind it that looked like a tab on it, but it wasn't a tab. Okay, um, so these drills look perfect so far. And, you know, maybe we'll come across a few drills as we're looking at this that don't look absolutely perfect. And that's fine because most of them will be. The only thing that we can't tell while we're doing this kind of a, um, an examination of the drills is whether the drills are going to be uh, just a tiny bit too small for the canvas. 
and I can tell you that so far I have not found that to be the case with this purple stripe packaging. Um, it'll be something that I pay a lot of attention to as um, I'm, you know, drilling canvases that have uh, the purple stripe packaging, because if their if their square drills are too small, that for me really ruins the experience of working on a diamond painting because you pretty much have to deal with every drill individually. Uh, like I would use a multi-placer, but it would place the drills too close together. So then you have to push them apart so that they fit perfect, like so that they're properly aligned in each square. I don't think that's going to be the case. I don't remember ever having had a problem with uh, the drills that come in the purple stripe packaging and the round drills that come in the blue stripe packaging from this same uh, drill maker. They're also always really, really good. So I don't know about you, but I have not seen anything. Now, the sun is blinding me, uh, so that might, um, that might be something that's causing me to miss stuff, but I don't think so. As always, if I find something when I'm doing editing on this video, if I notice a, a bad drill or something like that, I will uh, ring a bell and just flash up on the screen a few words to tell you what it is that I found that concerns me. But I, I am not seeing anything that concerns me with these drills. Yeah, no, this is, um, these are excellent drills. Really, really nice drills. Okay, so I'm going to put away the drills and uh, the next thing we do is we're going to open the last diamond painting from this order. Okay, so uh, that's it for number 485, the Blue Lilies. Now we're going to open the last diamond painting in this order. And this is one that I get for funsies. You guys know that I love bubble diamond paintings. Well, there are bubble diamond paintings that are clearly meant for children, and that's mostly what I have because that's what was available when I started buying bubble diamond paintings. But now they have what I call bubble diamond paintings for grown-ups, and they are more like a um, like a regular special shapes diamond painting, except that all of the drills are round. Oh, except they're not. Okay, uh, so this is not a bubble diamond painting. I'll have to change the name. <laughs> um, this is a rather beautiful special shapes diamond painting, which is named Penguin. Um, there is one company that names all of their special shape diamond paintings in this size, Penguin. Uh, I ordered, uh, well, a huge order from another store last January, and um, almost all of the special shapes diamond paintings that I got in this size were called Pum Penguin. Okay, so this comes with a uh, regular kit. It does have the plastic tweezers that you can use to pick up the oddly shaped drills. I don't use them. I use regular tweezers, or I just use... Um, my drill pen. Okay, so this has 16 different kinds of drills, which is pretty awesome for such a tiny little diamond painting. And I call this one Glitter Tree. It used to be Glitter Tree Bubble, but it's not a bubble diamond painting. So this is number 486. Let's just measure the drill area. I expect it's going to be about 24 or 25. It is 24 by 24, which is exactly what I expected. And uh, this image here does not do justice to what this is going to look like when it's done. This is going to look absolutely spectacular when it's finished because it's going to be all glitter and glam. And if you like trees, and I do like trees, I do love trees, um, this 
I know is going to make me super happy to work on. Super, super happy to work on. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit because it's small enough that I can. Uh, and and again, this one has that uh, plastic that I actually think it might be that it's applied when the glue is still too hot. And so the plastic gets a little bit, um, it's kind of like, uh, like little waves when there's a breeze on a, on a still lake. Um, the surface of the water is not glass-like. It's more, it's just got those teeny tiny little rivers. Uh, not rivers, but um, um, little wavelets, if you will. And so that's what this plastic is like. But there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, it's, it's perfectly fine. The glue is, is good. Um, so we have two legends on here, 16 different types of drills. Let's take a look at the legend. I'm going to blow you way up for this because the legend is teensy tiny. And I do like it when they give you uh, the identification numbers. They're not real DMC numbers, but they give you identification numbers um, for the drills because that then helps me to put them away uh, consistently because they do use consistent numbers. So I um, mark my bags when I, when I put them into baggies, because I work out of baggies for these. I uh, write the number on the baggie, uh, and then it's easier for me to um, sort the leftover drills at the end. So there are the symbols. They're nice, simple symbols, the kind of thing you're expecting to see on a diamond painting like this. And look at the diamond edge. This is 100% coverage. Or, you know, if it's not 100%, it's like 98% diamondage, um, which means that almost every bit of this diamond painting is going to be covered in drills. This is going to sparkle like mad. And this is going to take quite a while to do. Um... I don't know if I even want to give an estimate. Like, I would think that this would take probably about six or seven hours, maybe, maybe five hours. Um, because there is no blank space on this canvas. And look at that tree. Look at the leaves. Oh, my goodness. This is so beautiful. So beautiful. Wow. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, this is going to be an absolute delight to work on. And let's see. So this also has the blue stripe packaging. And oh, look at that. They have DMC numbers that correspond to uh, the legend on the packages, uh, except for these drills, which is fine. But look at all those. There's hundreds of them in here, and that's for the leaves on the tree. So these are uh, crystal drills. They're flat on the bottom, and that's where the crystal is because the top of the drills is covered in like a gold foil. So that's going to just be stunning. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Okay, so let's start. And so here we have, oh my God, the way the light's coming in, I can't even see the colors properly uh, because it's totally blinding me. Uh, okay, this looks to me like clear, uh, colorless um, crystal drills. And then these beautiful, I don't know, is that aquamarine uh, blue crystal drills? And then a larger blue crystal drill. And then little pink crystal drills and larger pink crystal drills oh and I saw one that had uh, that was a little bit concave and I'm seeing a few that have tiny scratches on them so I don't use the ones that have scratches or, or that are missing silvering on the bottom um, because they uh, they just don't look great uh, but we always get so many spare drills 
in a crystal or in a special shapes diamond painting so I'm really not worried about running out uh, if I throw away drills that are no good so that's the dark dark purple oh oh okay um, and then we have more of the dark dark purple and those are just slightly bigger then we have these sapphire blue crystal drills and then the bigger sapphire blue crystal drills so they are kind of like bubble diamond painting but it's a bubble diamond painting plus the bubble diamond paintings being the ones that have just a few colors of drills but they have each drill in two or three sizes and then on our last strip here uh, we've got these on starting it from the wrong end okay so then we've got the yellow so we left off we left off with the small yellow crystal drills and then we have the same color in a bigger size and then we have the small orange crystal drills and then the same color in a bigger size that's gonna look amazing and then we have these small red crystal drills and the other crystal drills in a bigger size so this actually is a bubble diamond painting it's just a bubble diamond painting that has uh, a lot of special shape accent on the tree and and that's fine but uh, even just with the Sun hitting these they're sparkling like crazy I don't know if you're seeing the sparkle but I'm seeing the sparkle this is gonna be amazing I'm gonna have a blast working on this and the shadows are starting so <laughs> So it's a good thing that I am wrapping this up right now. So I would like to thank Lee at GBFKE. I know I started this video that way, but these five diamond paintings are outstanding. I love all of them. Uh, and I am especially pleased with the way that the first one turned out because I wasn't expecting it to turn out as well as it did, but gotta love those stained glass flowers. Um, yeah, so thank you, Lee, and, uh, or Ali, and, um, and I will, uh, yeah, I, I'm just super excited about, about today's haul. Um, I want to thank also all of my patrons whose generous contributions help to support my channel. And I want to thank all of my subscribers and viewers. Thank you for coming and visiting with me. I love your comments. Don't forget, if you see something on the GBFKE website that you're not sure about, send me the link. Tell me what you're not sure about. And I will uh, almost certainly include it in an upcoming order from GBFKE. And we can check it out together. And then you can go and buy it if, uh, if it turns out to be uh, what you want. So there you go, everybody. That's all for today. I will be back with you again tomorrow. I love you. Bye-bye for now.